It's okay, Phil. Just touch me. Touch me. Well, that's an entrance. So much for the sliding door. <laughs> Today, we are checking out an abandoned gym in the more hilly areas of Melbourne. When we made this video, another channel named Boston Vlogs had explored the same place a matter of days ago. He didn't hide the location too much, and as a result, Fagbexers had already begun making themselves at home, so we wanted to film the place before it became a completely trashed and destroyed location. Since Boston Vlogs video a matter of days ago, looks like somebody has found their way in here and sprayed the fire extinguisher everywhere. Yay! We've found the pool. So, how does this pool compare to the other pool we have visited? Or the cranbourne too, both of them. Yes. Or well, this is non fragrance as you can see, but probably due to the location blab, it will soon end up like a cranbourne swimming pool. So yeah, anyway, let's enjoy while we have it. Looks like these steps have been sprayed with the fire extinguishers as well. There's still a little bit of water. Wait, wait, what the heck's with the video today? Well, um, I've decided that I'm going to make the explore today instead of Les. Mm, so if, if, the, if it's if absolutely abysmal, you, you know who to, who to attack. Yeah, yeah, attack me. This mm. is my first, I'm sorry. Yeah, but we're going we're gonna, to um, try. Okay, so wait, who's this rascal? Is that TJ Sears? TJ Sears, right here in the house. <laughs> Very good. I'll put a link. Well, Floyd will be putting a link to his channel in the description if you want to check out TJ Sears' content. Yeah. And also, and also his. Uh, oh, yeah, look at my life. His beepy. Oh, no. What? <laughs> no, it's the old filter pump machinery thing. Look at this. This is like brand new. Brand newish rubbish bin. Actually, what is it? Spill response. Spill response. Spill response. Spill response. Yeah. Mm, look at that spill response. Ooh, right look at there. that spill response. That's high qual. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Les is about to go and clean the pool for us. Isn't that right, Les? <laughs> Extend the pole. Good one. Energy Australia. Okay, we are entering the male toilets. Let's check it out. Oh, we've got some racks. Oh, what's in here? It looks like showers. Yep, showers. Cool pattern on the wall. Bad. Light. Bit of a urinal and sink situation going on there. Oh, there's stuff in the toilet. Let's see if it flushes. Flushes but I don't think it refills. Okay, this is the females. There's a bit of a mural on the wall. Bit of a remnant mural. Remnants! Yep. Oh, look at this. As noted in Boston Vlogs video, the women's toilets get separate showers as opposed to communal showers in the men's. I've seen that tag before in the IT building. If you've seen that vid, yeah, yeah, we're at the mall. Yeah. And now let's walk away. Facial uh, toilet. Oh my god, look at this. Facial flushing. Oh. 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 oh, there's a bit of spillage. It's actually refilling. It's refilling. It works. Wow. And a fancy pattern on the door. I must say, the women's toilets were a lot more creative than the men's. A member's closet storage thing. And there's another one right outside the first aid part of the pool. Why are you trying to stupid pieces? Retro. Oh, 
Hello and welcome to White Toilet Shop. Come and have a look inside. We've got great stuff. As you can see, here, here's my bench where I do all my, my payments. Here, here is my toilet. So, you, so I actually, I open the door. I open the door. And so you come into my shop. You use the toilet and I stand here. Because you know I'm the shopkeeper. I have, to, I, have to, I have to get a guard. You can see we have some fine quality products here in the toilet shop. No. No. The shop is closed. Doorbell on the inside. Smells really musty in here. Random bathroom-esque sort of place in here. Don't know what this room was used for, but there you go. Concrete floor. This place is really scenic, even though it's pretty close to suburbia. Okay, what the hell's with this? So there's a door right here, and if we walk around, oh look, there it is, pointless door. So the emergency exit door, Oh, it is open. There we go. Absolutely classic Toshiba air conditioner. Staff office, pretty plain, not much to see. It's another staff office and let's see what's in here. There you go. So we are entering the ladies change room. Let's see what's up the stairs. Okay, we are pretty confused as to what exactly this is. Um, <laughs> yeah. It looks even more clinical because you've got like the test patient one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> what one is this? Oh, I'm number three. You've got the numbers. James, James, what's your name? My name is... Number three. No, it's number three. Time flies when you're having fun. It's still moving. I don't know, I don't know 100% but you can see something came out of here so it could have been water or air and it would, you would have laid down here and it bubbled, it would have bubbled up or something and I don't know, it would have done something, I don't know, but very cool and interesting. Problem with Bosman Vlogs videos are they're very good, they're very snappy, very quick, but in that, because it's like five minutes long, you miss details because he just teabags the room and you miss stuff like this. I don't even see this because he just walked one centimeter into the ladies change room. Yep, and you missed out. There's so much dust in this room. That make it worse? Yep. Good. These are all not in use and engaged. Some sinks. Oh, there you go. Uh, somebody's left their water bottle in the little cabinet thing has. Really? I thought it said Porsche for a minute. <laughs> it's not a Porsche, that's a Ritchie hand driver. I don't know how to say the name. Toilet. More toilets. More toilets. More toilets. Lockers. And in here is our showers. There you go. They're much better showers than the ones downstairs, it seems. Higher class members, maybe? I don't know. And walking down the hallway of doom, what's in here? Staff only. Oh, it's a sauna. Oh, smells musty. Retro tiles. The actual sauna unit is not in there anymore. Continuing on. Green button. Oh, now this smells like a sauna. You know, just that, like, burnt sort of wooden smell. Oh, it's still got the unit. Wow. And the rocks. Pick up a rock from the sauna. Not every day you get to do that. There you go. Tylo. Bit of insulation showing there. Uh, almost looks like it's been burnt a little bit. I don't know. Oh, the door handle is... Moist, but not that one. Okay, so this is the men's change room, and <laughs> well, somebody's been in here. The toilet paper in this room has been done a matter of days after Boston Vlogs video, and is an example of what happens when locations get blabbed. Because of this, 
We are getting in now, rather than later, when the place is even more tricked. Even more fixed. Okay. Got some sinks there, some urinals in the mirror, normal toilets, and there's the actual urinals. So continuing on this way, we have the men get normal shower heads that are not water saving, unlike the women's who get water saving shower heads. In through this door, it's another spa thing, another communal spa. We've got all the water jet things. We've got a platform thingo and some very fresh and shiny looking locker door thingo panels things. I don't even know what they are. And it looks like the men have also got a sauna except they've got a much smaller unit that isn't even here anymore. It smells pretty bad in here, so thankfully we've got these. It looks like this has been wound up in fibres of sorts, and the massive pump, the massive sand filter, I assume, and an electrical switchboard. Some filter timers, and that's a bit about it from down there, and that's it for the men's change room. Let's follow the trail of toilet paper and see where it leads. There's some stairs there, we'll check them out later, but we'll continue following the toilet paper. Around the corner and... Okay. To our right there is a massive screening room and it's even got the projector still there. And to our right, we have a big open room with some lines on the floor and a big logo of, you can read it. Just down the hall a bit on the right is this room. And given the line markings on the floor, I think it might have been used for squash, but I'm not sure if anyone can confirm that. Please do. So this is where the toilet paper actually leads, through this door, into this massive, massive room. A performing stage thingo, a pole most sensibly wrapped in foam, a fan to keep you cool when you're getting hot. That's a sign for the mirrors. Obviously worked. And just a note, these doors are double doors that can be pushed or pulled. All right, out this door. There's some stairs here. See where they lead? It's a fire escape door. This is what's on the other side of the fire escape door. Just on the outside here, checking out some stuff. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Uh, emergency shower. I guess they stored pool chemicals in here. Yep, they certainly did. You saw the acid over there and this is the base. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's a buzzing sound, which means the electricity is still connected. And now for the other part of the shed, there's a water heater unit and three hot water units. I guess they would need them. Cool little door handle there. The door handle here does turn, but... It looks like it is locked somewhere down below. Apologies for the lighting, but there's a switchboard. And what are these? Isolator. Isolators, okay. Transformers. Okay, so, uh, all right. It's an electrical room of sorts. Some of these things are padlocked and others aren't. Uh, fuses, I assume. 
and some main switches. That's the power meter, which looks like it's off. SECV supply. For those who don't know, who don't necessarily live in Victoria, um, the State Electricity Commission was just a state power company, but they were split up into a bunch of private companies in the 80s, I think. So it's just a testament to the age of this building that it has an SECV switch. Now to go back to where we came from, upstairs. Old thermostat thingo. And a random storage cupboard thing. Place hasn't been fagged vexed that much as the fluorescent light globes are still intact. So this is what is up the stairs. Creative artwork, I assume that was done by the kids. So we're now going into room six. There's a cool thing there. That's so American. Fan. There's a storage room thingo. That includes a switchboard of sorts. A VHS. Four steps to for life, hey? As you can see, it's a VHS tape still in existence. That's pretty much all there is of room six. Going into room seven here. It's just a bit more shrek than room six. And you've got a glass wall between room seven and room six. I wonder if there were a single room once upon a time. Room eight doesn't seem to be in existence, so here is room nine. It's decent. You've got some more of these things. Room nine includes roof access. Oh my God, you can fatally be seen, but here are some stairs. Got a massive open area with the gym logo. Some Toshibas. Come here guys and you can get free Wi-Fi. And going through this swirly door, we've got another empty room. I thought that was a security camera for a minute, but it's actually just a light globe socket. Art and craft table. Oh, another maze. Yep, storage it is. Some cool retro tiles. Oh look, there's a floor plan. Some plants, are they real? Nope. Through this door. Oh my god, it's another set of stairs. And another set of rooms to explore. Roof. Okay, so... Somebody's obviously taken the fire extinguisher off and sprayed it all over the room. Thanks, Fabexes. Random room with nothing in it, except for a whiteboard. Archiving dead bodies, hey? So if you actually walk through the room, it just looks like it's some storage thingos. Classic work safe guy. Completely empty room. Oh look, it's another empty room. This room just has a random PowerPoint block on the floor. Kind of looks like a flag, but I don't think it's meant to be that. Yeah, I've got one, and it's pretty annoying to get. Ladies. Just another toilet block. A sink to wash your hands with after you've gone to the toilet. Gents. Oh, heavy door. Nothing much, just another toilet. Another room. Ah, oh, it's the same as before. Scenic view. Continuing on to room two. All the rooms seem to have this blue and white thing. I don't know if it's meant to represent something or it's just for decoration. So yeah. A view out the window, that's to the deck where we were before. Beside room two, there's another door. Let's see if it's room three. Yep, it's room three. And back to where we started, where there's all these people having a good time. Obviously got those two right there. 
some floor plans on the emergency exit sign thingos and through here we've got another sink thing oh look it's the kiddies toilets kiddies sinks and an actual toilet all these remnants of all the people who used to be here down the stairs with plants on them so those stairs lead to just where this main reception area is and they also go through this door which is where the other stairs lead to and looks like a storage room underneath the stairs with a few electrical additions in suite one we have a non-existent door a rubbish bin a tv a funky room like that with a mirror and a funky outside relaxation place really handy there really really handy look at this it's another staircase and in this sort of tricked naturally room we've got some curtains some more curtains an air conditioner and yeah that's about it some cool old glass there just another empty room there's a pretty cool retro light switch that would explain why the stairs are so derelict so we're in the room where the TV and the bin was and if we walk through here through the blue curtains we find it's a classroom thing That's what some students would be doing, wouldn't it be, Liz? Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, Shrek concrete room esque. Who are you? And should we subscribe to your channel if you have one? Yes, you should. Subscribe my channel. They call it TJ Sit, but it's actually TJS YT. Yeah. That sounds TJ Sit to me. <laughs> and what are what are your thoughts on this place? Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's, it's pretty uh, pretty grouse. Actually, quite less fatally grouse. Fatally grouse. And the music's grouse. Yeah. This is pretty grouse. Goodbye, TJ Sit. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video so far, you're an absolute Aussie legend. Um, don't forget to leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Flickr and Instagram. Took some crazy shots today. And yeah, leave yourself. Say something.